I bought this piece of fabric when I went to Berlin and since I saw it, I thought about a jacket. So let's do it. After tracing and cutting our pattern, we're going to sew it with a French seam. The sides of the sleeves will be sewn and attached to the body and the bottom hem will be finished with some binding. And to finish it, I'm going to use the beautiful salvage edge for the front and collar. It's a really nice material and I think it looks really summery with the colors. And because it, it's really unraveling here, I'm going to make it with French seams so I don't have a problem because I'm not going to do any lining. It's a summer jacket so I don't want it to be thicker. If I have enough fabric I would like to make a pearl pump but if not it will be just a waistline jacket. And the first thing we're going to do is measure ourselves. It's a bit difficult but mm, there's no other way and uh, we're going to measure chest, waist and the, the length of our back from neck to waist the most difficult bit will be to figure out how the sleeve measurements work we're going to measure from the top of our shoulder to where we want our sleeve to end then we're going to measure from that end to our biceps and then around both measurements. This will be our basic sleeve block. So uh, from here we can make uh, changes and the change I'm going to make is to add two centimeters on each side so the sleeve is easier to put on and take off. With our fabric folded in half, we're going to measure from the center, the waistline, the length of our back, from the waist to the chest and from the chest to the armpit, as well as half of our shoulder width. Now we can trace our pattern and cut it. And we can use this one to trace the second one. We are going to fold and cut one of them to get the two front panels we need. And because I wanted a deep v-neck, I'm going to cut a bit more of the collar. And this waistcoat is the body of our jacket. Let's do it by hand first so I can try it on. And that way I don't have to take it apart if it doesn't fit properly. And now I'm going to cut the sleeves. I could have cut them before, but anyway. And I'm going to uh, measure three centimeters more, one for the seam allowance and another two, so it's a bit more, it's not so tight. We 
we're doing okay. Take into account that uh, when we draw the sleeve block, it has different sides for the back and front of the sleeve. So be careful not to cut two, uh, two front sleeves, no, two right sleeves or two left sleeves, depending on which side, okay? We're doing okay. So uh, I don't have enough for the pearl pump, but I quite like it like this, so I'm quite happy. I'm going to use the rest of the yellow bias type I have for the hem. So I'm going to sew it and then fold so you don't see it. But if the when the jacket opens, you'll see the clean hem. Mm, so let's do that. I'm really pleased about how it's turning out. And apart from being the right color and everything, I like how it gives a bit more structure to the bottom of the jacket. I'm dying to use this uh, salvage edge that the fabric prints. Uh, it's really lovely because it's fringy and I think it will look really nice around the neck and the front, so I'm going to use it as a bias tape. I'm going to cut a two centimeter um, stripe and then uh, sew it to the edge. So it looks like this. I think it's going to be cute. It looks so cute. I'm really happy about how it turned out. I'm so glad. I love the salvage edge. I think it looks really cute with the fringes. And another thing I love is that I'm, re I'm being really careful about how I uh, do the seams and how I finish them. And I love the bias tape and the French seam because you don't see any threads or any seams or anything. It just looks really nice even though it hasn't got any lining. And for hem in the sleeves I only did a simple seam but double so you don't see any threads because I thought that uh, with the binding and the salvage edge and the puff sleeves I thought it was a bit too much to add anything else so I wanted them simple. And because it's a summery type or spring type jacket, uh, I left it without any buttons or zips or anything. Uh, even though uh, it's prepared in the future to add a button if I want to when I lose some 
baby it took me but right now it's remaining open so thank you again for watching the video i hope you subscribe so you don't miss anything next week and i hope you've enjoyed it and i made you um, have a nice time leave me down in comments what you thought about it or what you would have done differently and i hope you try to do something like this at home see you next week bye Thank you.